Master Chow Chow Chow, Slanter Joe here, and welcome to another episode of the Pokemon Home Transfer Guide, a series on my channel where we look at how simple it is to transfer Pokemon from previous generations of the games to the newest generations of the games. Today we are looking at Generation 2, Pokemon Gold, Silver, and Crystal. So, what I would like to do today is this. I'm going to get off my bike. Uh, so this is Pokemon, we're playing Pokemon Crystal version here. And I want to take Pine, the Suno Wuno, that I'm going to be catching here today, to Sword and Shield. I know that, uh, that Suno Wuno is available in Sword and Shield, so I know that I can do this. That is the plan for today's episode. Take the Suno Wuno from Gold, Silver and Crystal to Sword and Shield. That is the plan for today's episode. So let's do that. And the next episode, though, is going to be red, blue, and yellow. And that one might take some time to come out because what I'd like to do with that series is I'd like to take Mewtwo. I'd like to take Mewtwo from Pokemon Red, Blue, or Yellow to Sword and Shield. And for that, I actually need to purchase a copy of uh, Pokemon uh, Gen 1 and actually then complete it so I can actually do that on this DS. But I have a copy of Generation 1. It's just, it's not you know, on the DS. It's not on my captured DS, it's on my other DS. Which is the one I actually play more often. So, you know, I'd have to buy another copy of Generation... T I'd have to buy co another copy of Generation 1, so I need to do that. I need to actually bother to do that. It's just I haven't done it yet. So, um... Let's do this. My team is a very, it's, uh, well, I, I haven't played this crystal version in a while. This is the team I have. I have Happy V, Ghastly, uh, Brian is a Slowpoke? Yep. Uh, then we have Joey, who's a Rattata, Lumber, who is my Sintret, uh, Ruby, my Typlosion, Oh, Quilava, sorry, not, uh, not a Typlosion. And a Rocky, who is the trade for... I think it's Pikachu for an Onyx in Violet City. Uh, that is my other Pokemon, so that's my team rather quickly. It's not the best, it's actually kind of awful, but, you know, it's okay for what I'm... Uh, you know, I'm not really focusing on this game at this moment in time. And although I would like to say I have completed Crystal, that is one of the things I haven't... I've never... Act I completed the actual version, the actual crystal games yet. It's something I'm looking at uh, doing myself. Oh my god, why did you wake up? Right. Ember. Don't kill it. Oh, that's doing nothing. That's flying. That is doing absolutely nothing. Ruby, you can just come in here and just you know, weaken this thing so I can actually bother to record, uh, to actually catch it. Unless he does that. I only have a few potions, so I'm a little worried now. Now he's pulled out the big guns and gone... F uh, now he's uh, pulled out that rock throw, I'm a little worried. I will reset if I don't catch this. I will do that. I got the burn! And now you know, Ember. Okay. Uh, should I go for... I probably should go for a ball here. Since now I've got the burn, I can't get a hypnosis off on you again. So now I've got to go for the balls. One, two, that's a jump. Oh, ho, ho. come on. Come on, slow. Yeah, come on, Sunawuno. I don't want to deal with you forever. You're in the red now. I will reset if I lose. That is one of the things. I will reset if I lose. One, two, that's a jump. Oh, come on, Sunawuno. I've got like two chances. No, I've got one. I've got one. I, this is my this is my last ball. I'm gonna have to reset if this doesn't work. One, 
Two. That's a chap. Yeah! Sudo Wuno! The Intimidation Pokemon. If a tree branch shakes uh, when there is no wind, it's a Sudo Wuno, not a tree. It hides from the rain. Uh, what do I call you? I usually name... You know what? I'm going to call you Oak. I was going to call you Pine, because that's usually the nickname I go for, but, like, no, no, I want to call you Oak. There you go. Oak. Now, if we go back... Hang on, you give me Rock Smash. That'll be really helpful for me actually playing this game. So, there we go. I will, uh, I will get that too. I think I once did a stream series of Crystal. I wanted to do a Crystal Live Nuzlocke on the on YouTube a few years back when these game when Crystal first came to the Virtual Console because you know I was on the like. Tr uh, hype tr Gen 2 uh, Virtual Console Hype Train after the Gold and Silver uh, well my Pokemon Gold Nuzlocke and I wanted to do a Crystal uh, Live Nuzlocke but I decided to kick that, that series in the box once I stopped doing live streams and now I'm back on the live stream train with Community Raid Hour maybe I might have to come back to doing like uh, stream playthroughs again sometime but I want to take a look at uh, this Suno Wuno we just caught. So. Let me do that. Here is Oak. Now I'm going to keep Oak in the box because uh, basically, well, I need to keep Oak in the box for this. He's got Rock Throw, Mimic Flail, and Low Kick. Okay. So. He's in box. One, I have GG, Egg, Fat Bath in there as well. I I mean, I could probably bring the egg. I don't know if... I don't think Venom... Does Venom not exist? I don't think... Uh, and I also had a death uh, uh, Pokemon in the dead box because, you know, it's a Nuzlocke. So you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to change my... I'm going to go to move Pokemon without mail and sort out these boxes so, because uh, I need to sort these out. So I can actually bring Pokemon to the um, games. So I'll put Venonat in box 2. GG Venonat in box 2. And Fatbat V Zubat in box 2 as well. Now, I don't know if eggs can be transferred. This is the Togepi egg that you'd normally pick up uh, from some, uh, uh, from Violet City. I have no idea whether eggs can be transferred or not. This is going to be a, an interesting... This is going to be interesting. I'm going to heal my Pokemon, and then we're going to save the game, and we're going to load up the Poke Transporter and see what we can do. I know I can definitely get Suno Wuno, but the egg... That might need to stay in Gen 2 because it's not, you know, it's not a Pokemon. It's an egg. Let's see. Let me save my game. All right. Let's go to the Poke Transporter. So at this point, what you want to do is you want to close your game. Now you've saved your game. And you want to go to the Pokemon Transporter. My Pokemon Transporter is in apps and games, and there it is, Poke Transporter. And now it's going to read my game cards. It knows I have Pokemon Gold here, but it uh, but it also knows I have a Crystal version, and that's what I want. I want my Crystal version. So 
So now it is uh, connecting to the internet. Hopefully we can do this. Let's see what it says. Communicating with Pokemon Bank servers. Now it takes what Pokemon you have in Pokemon box number one. Pokemon uh, sent to Pokemon Bank uh, cannot be returned to the original games once they were moved. Uh, when they were moved up from which they were moved from. Please note that Pokemon holding held items uh, cannot be moved. Moved. Okay. Attention, there is at least one Pokemon that cannot be sent. Pokemon Egg has been detected. You cannot send X. Okay. I was thinking I couldn't send X. I was thinking I couldn't send X. I didn't know, but I was thinking I couldn't send X. But anyway, there is Oak Arsuno Wuno. So yeah, I want to transfer that to the bank. I was thinking we couldn't send X. I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure. But I was thinking that was the case. And now we are done with the Pokemon Transporter. So now we want to load up Pokemon Bank. And move it into an actual box. I was in the process, I will tell you this now, I was in the process of installing uh, Homebrew on my uh, other DS so I could take the save, uh, my yellow save, and put it on this DS. But my DS, uh, uh, my recording, my non-recording DS doesn't have enough room on the SD card for me to do that it's got like if there's a pokemon x game on there there's a load there's a and there's a load of other game random games on there and i don't really have enough room to install homebrew as well because it's just got the standard sd card that you would normally have on the uh, games so yeah i need to sort that out uh sometime or buy a new version of gen 1 games So in my transfer box, there is this Pokemon. And, and as we can see, it has got the little Game Boy medallion uh, to prove that it is from uh, Gold and Silver and Crystal. So this is going to be interesting. Very, very interesting. So I've now loaded it into box number one of my actual Pokemon Bank. It can't. I can't transfer from my from my transfer box. I can't transfer from the Pokemon transfer box to Pokemon Home, but I can from box number uh, from any of the hundred boxes that are in Pokemon Bank. Okay, so now we want to go back into Pokemon Bank, and it is now time to bring over the Sword and Shield game. So let me save my Sword and Shield game. And let me close it. I have two friend requests over here. I need to sort that out, but not, not right now. So I need to load up Pokemon Home on my, sword, uh, on my Switch and get everything loaded. And over here on the 3DS, what we need to do is go to move Pokemon to Pokemon Home. You are about to send some Pokemon uh, to Pokemon Home. Please note that you won't be able to bring them back to Pokemon Bank. Please check the Pokemon Home official website for details. Begin. And on the free, uh, now on the switch, you want to go to the thing that looks like a free S. You want to go to, which is called move. It's a icon of a free S and you want to go to, and it's called move. So I want to go to that. And I want to go to, and it comes up and I want to say begin move. 
I've shown you this in the very first part of the Pokemon Transfer Lab, uh, the Sun and Moon episode. So you should, if you've watched that episode, you know what you're doing. And it'll say this. Warning, you are unable to use Pokemon Home until the move is complete. Do you wish to begin preparations? I'm going to say begin. Select a box uh, in the move Pokemon to Pokemon Home screen and uh, option and bring them from the Pokemon Bank to f uh, for the 3DS. So I want to pick Pokemon box number one. So on my 3DS, I'm picking box number one, uh, where my Suno Wuno is, and I'm going to click done. Now, I can press A on my Switch and ask it to send me a moving key. So I am, it's going to have ready, no move option, or quit. And I want to say I am ready. Moving keys are only valid for three minutes. Enter the moving key into your Pokemon bank so you can move your Pokemon as soon as possible. Once a moving key has been active, it will, it, you will be unable to go back until it is, is, is ha expired. Do you want to send a moving key? Display my moving key. So now you have a key on your 3DS, uh, uh, on your Switch. You have a couple minutes to be able to install this key on your uh, Switch. I don't have a stylus. Great. <laughs> I always ca I always ca put a stylus somewhere nearby, but I don't actually have one today. It's the one day I need it and I don't have it. This is going to be interesting. I'm using a pen. I'm using a pen, you know. End. It's a blunt pen. I haven't put the I haven't pressed the stopper to actually put the pen end in, but you know, it is that is what I am using to press things with. Oh, this is going to be interesting. But I do not have a stylus. I usually have a stylus on my desk, but I decided I, I guess I must have moved things uh, in in between recordings. So I guess I don't have a stylus on my desk right now. So I'm using a blunt pen end. Uh, this is going to be really interesting, but hopefully it won't, uh, you know, I won't miss, <laughs> I, I already did, uh, I already did miss press, but I noticed I miss press, so it's fine. There we go. Oh. Moving key successfully entered on the switch as this. Pokemon, uh, moving key has been successfully entered into Pokemon Bank. Move preparations will begin immediately. You are unable to use Pokemon Home until this is complete. Remember, time of, uh, take, time for it to take completion depends on how many Pokemon you are sending from Pokemon Home, uh, from Pokemon Bank to Pokemon Home. So, of course, if you're uh, seeing a lot of Pokemon, it's going to take a lot of time. If you're not seeing a lot of Pokemon, not, it's going to take barely any time. All right, so on the 3DS, it is saying, all right, it's time to get your Pokemon moved to their new home in Pokemon Home. It takes a little bit of time, so sit tight. And we are now done with the 3DS. So, I'm going to make a cut, and I will join you guys over on the Switch for the final part of this week's Home Transfer Lab. See you in a minute. And we are back over here on the Switch now for this part of the Pokemon Home Transfer Lab. So, it is saying to us, uh, move preparations is complete. There is one Pokemon that can be moved. Would you like to move this Pokemon to Pokemon Home? Yes, I would. How would you like to move this Pokemon to Pokemon Home? All boxes as they are. Uh, the Pokemon in Pokemon Bank uh, boxes will be moved as they are. Do you want to save your progress? Yes, I do. 
the Pokemon were moved from Pokemon Banks boxes to Pokemon Home. All right, now we want to go to Pokemon. Connect to Sword. And now we need to find our Suno Wuno. Now to do this, I'm going to go to newest 30. And there is Oak. Our Suno Wuno in box 49. So you come with me. Oak. And there we go. Oak is now in Pokemon uh, box number one of Pokemon Sword and Shield. Now we press the plus button. And we go to... Uh, we want to save changes and exit. And now we are done with Pokemon Home. So we can now close Pokemon Home. Go back into Sword and Shield. And find Oak. In Pokemon Sword and Shield. There is another episode out for Pokemon Home. I would uh, Pokemon Home Transfer Lab. I'm debating whether you guys would want to see it or not. Uh, but it's an interesting one that I would like to do. It is that I would like to take a Pokemon, uh, some Pokemon freshly caught from Pokemon Go, into Pokemon Sword and Shield. So I would go out on a walk, collect a bunch of Pokemon from the original 151 Pokemon in Pokemon, you know, Gen One, uh, bring them over to Let's Go, and uh, bring them to Sword and Shield. I don't know if you guys would want to see that uh, series. Uh, see that episode because uh, well, I've already kind of done that kind of thing. If you look at the Meltdown Mystery Gift Showcase, I will leave it linked in the description. I will leave it linked in the description or an iCard. That uh, episode basically shows you how to transfer Pokemon from Pokemon uh, Ho uh, from Pokemon Let's Go to uh, Pokemon uh, from Pokemon Let's. It shows you how to transfer Pokemon from Pokemon Go to Pokemon Let's Go to Pokemon Sword and Shield. It shows you how to, well, it shows you how to, well, it shows you how to transfer Pokemon from Go to Let's Go. And then, uh, then you just need to load up the Switch version of Pokemon Home and then transfer them from Let's Go to Sword and Shield. It doesn't take too much to do that. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to do this. But yeah, I could do that. So this is Oak, our level 20 Suno Wuno, caught in Pokemon uh, Gold, Silver and Crystal, noted by the little Game Boy medallion. It has rattled for the ability, because it gets given an ability. It also gets given a nature, depending on its stats. This has a hardy nature. It seems to have traveled across uh, space and time uh, itself to join me from uh, the Johto region. Now, I uh, now if I look at simply red, my if I look at simply red, my Gyarados, my Gyarados because it came from a fourth generation game has a moving animation. Suno Wuno doesn't move at all. Also because it's a tree. But also because it came from Pokemon Gold, Silver and Crystal, the 3DS versions, it says how nostalgic. That is that is a little bit of a uh, that is a little bit of a thing to say it came from Gen 2, not Gen 4 Gen 2. So that's pretty cool. I think it's because it's a Suno Wuno, it's not moving. Uh Whereas another Pokemon would move. I don't know. I'd have to catch an actual Suno Wuno in the games to find out if that's the case. Just to check if it's not just my Suno Wuno that's not move. It's this Suno Wuno that's not moving. Or whether it's the actual uh, 
you know, it's just Suno Wuno. Damn, I just thought of a perfect name for Suno Wuno. Uh, one of these days that I'll have to do eventually. I'm gonna have to call Suno Wuno Mokujin, you know, from Tekken. Because that's a that's basically a branch of tree. Uh, that's just basically a tree that moves and copies uh, everyone else's move actions. Mocky Jin, that would be cool. I should have done that now. Anyway, not important. So here is Oak Arsuno Wuno, as we can see, uh, walking behind us. It's very cool, isn't he? Yeah, very, very cool. I like him. So that is Oak walking behind us. If I move... Oak moves with me! Just takes a few seconds for him to catch up uh, if, as I ran off. Now, if we go to somewhere where Oak can actually fight Pokemon, uh, which we will now do, I will show you how Oak uh, works in battle. And then we'll do, and then we'll go to camp. So let's go to box, uh, so let's go to route number one. And let's go and show off Oak in battle. It's very cool you can bring Pokemon from Gen 2 all the way from, nine, uh, from 2000, when, it's, when Crystal came out, to uh, Pokemon Sword and Shield. Almost 20 years later. And this canopy is going to be destroyed by it. That is so cool. Oh, I missed! Oak! What are you doing? What are you missing? Hit the rock throw! Oak. There we go! Oak barely moves because he's, you know, he's Suno Wuno, but yeah, it's, it's still rather cool. So that is Oak. I'll show you again here with the Squillet because that didn't take that long at all. I'll use a uh, low kick this time. So let's use low kick. There we go. And that is Oak. From Pokemon Gold, Silver, and Crystal to Pokemon Home. Um, and then to Pokemon Sword and Shield. So there we go. Let's open up Pokemon Camp and uh, show it in there. Bring Pokemon, uh, bring the Pokemon to me. So here is uh, here is Oak Arsuno Wuno. Let's speak to him. Oak is quite restless. Oak is excited about this new play, uh, about this new place. Oak wants to play. Uh, Oak looks like he wants to play with the other Pokemon. Come back here, Oak. I want to see how you respond to toys. I do like how he does a little spin at the end. Uh, with this toy. Do you want to go get the ball? Oh, he carries it on his head. That's cool. That's cool. Thank you, Oak. So that is Pokemon... Uh, from Pokemon Gold, Silver and Crystal to Pokemon Sword and Shield. There we go, and we gained 200 experience on Oak for playing with him in camp. 
So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. That is Pokemon from Gold, Silver and Crystal to Pokemon Sword and Shield. If you enjoyed, leave a like, comment and subscribe for more. In the next episode, we will be taking a Pokemon from Pokemon Red, Blue and Yellow to Pokemon Sword and Shield. We'll be taking Mewtwo specifically, actually. But uh, for that, I need to actually complete Red, Blue and Yellow again. I just need to actually bother to actually do it and play and um, buy the games again. But I just need to do it. Anyway, until next time, me and the Pokemon get to the other. Everybody get Pokemon. Good night. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please leave a like, comment and subscribe for more videos. And of course, you can ring the bell and you'll be notified first when those videos come out. You can follow me on Twitter at Lantern Joe, where you'll get news, thoughts and opinions from me, Joe and the rest of the Lantern Nation. And of course, if you're a fan of this sort of thing, then you might like Power Zone Metal, a radio show presented by me and my brother Dan, aka the Gentleman of Metal. You can find out more information about that on powerzonemetal.uk. And of course, if you want to watch more videos, you can watch them by clicking in the top right and top left hand corner of this here end card. And of course, until next time, from me, Joe, and from the rest of the Lantern Nation, we'll see you again.